Hi guys, I am Sushil from Networkers O technical team and today we'll discuss how to take a remote access of CCNA rack access. In our previous video we had seen how to take physical rack access but in this video we'll see how to take remote lab access. So let's continue. This is our terminal server. Okay? Please focus on this. This is Cisco 2500 series terminal server. In our previous class, we had seen how physical connections are done with this centralized management device called as a terminal server. But now we have to see how to take a remote access. For remote access, we need IP address to be configured on the terminal server. So I'll take you backside of terminal server and I'll show you where we configure IP address for remote access. So let's continue. This is back panel of a rack. Okay, I'll show you a terminal server from backside. Okay, please focus here. Now you can see this is our terminal server back panel. And here you have one serial port. You can see here it is called as a AUI Ethernet. Please focus on this AUI Ethernet. This is AUI means Attachment Unit Interface, okay? Nowadays, we don't have this type of ports, right? Where we can connect a direct cable for access, okay? So what we do is, we use this connector. This is our connector, okay? Which gives you a RJ45 converter, right? So we'll connect this converter to our AUI interface. And you see now light is blinking over here and we'll connect this rj45 connector over here so we have already connected we have already configured ip address at this interface okay and we'll take that ip address access through this connector using this rj45 wire okay so now i'll show you how to take rdp access or remote access to this terminal server okay so let me take you guys to our desktop now terminal access can be accessed in three different ways. You can connect your terminal server RJ45 wire directly to your PC and put your PC adapter in a same subnet. That's one way of connecting remotely. Other way is you can connect this wire to your Wi-Fi router, okay? And you can connect through wireless adapter in your PC and you have to put your PC within a same subnet as your terminal server is and then you can connect to your terminal server. That's the second way. And third way is you can take an RDP access. Let's say our terminal server will be connected with RDP PC and through RDP PC I'll be connecting to my terminal server. So in this video I'll show you guys how to take RDP access. It's a remote desktop access. So our students are from worldwide. We'll show our students how to take worldwide access to our CCNA rack remotely. So next I'll take you guys to my desktop screen and I'll show you how to take RDP access to our CCNA rack. Now I'll show you how to take remote access through our public IP to our CCNA rack. Now we are on desktop screen. First of all, we'll open RDP connection and here we'll need credentials to connect our remote server. These details will be provided from Networker Zoom. And here you can see this is the link to join our CCNA rack. This is demo currently I'm showing you guys. So this is a RDP details, username and the password given over here. So like this, all details will be provided to take a remote access. Now we'll click on connect. We'll give a password. And once you are connected, you'll get a remote access. After getting remote access, you can ping your terminal server. So to get a terminal server details, we'll provide you topology like this. In this topology, we have already assigned the terminal server IP. That is 1.1.1.6. So here we'll open terminal server to any software you can use, okay? So PuTTY or any other move extreme and all. So I'll connect with Telnet. 
like 1.1.1.6 click on ok and you'll get connected here on this terminal server username password are mentioned here so take this username password ccie as a username password as a cisco now you are into a terminal server here you can check all the devices like so hosts and you can see all the devices listed in our terminal server as per our topology in topology you guys can see we have devices like r1 r2 r3 r4 switch 1 switch 2 switch 3 switch 4 right so all these eight devices are connected on our terminal server all the consoles are connected so here you can see all these eight devices over here so let's say you want to get into r1 so you'll type r1 and it says open if it says open you are into r1 now and here onwards you can configure whatever you want so in your classes trainer will give you topology those topology configurations you guys have to do here like hostname r1 so this way you can configure let's say you want to jump into any switch right or any other routers so you have to press ctrl alt 6 and release it and then press x then you'll see you are back to terminal server once again i'm repeating it's ctrl alt 6 press one by one all and release all those at a time and then press x you'll be back to a terminal server now from here if you want to get into r2 simply press r2 if it shows you connection refused by remote host then you need to note this four digit numbers here last two digits we can use to clear the line so say clear line zero two and do it for two three times right and then you try back to r2 you'll see you are into a r2 device now so here after uh, you can take a r2 console and configure the details or the configurations that you want to do now again if you want to come back to terminal server same way same process press ctrl alt 6 release it and then press x now you are back to a terminal server so guys in this way we take a remote access we give this access to our students which are in a remote locations so in a previous video we saw how to take physical access and in this video we saw how to take a remote access see you guys in the next video take care